So, I am first of all looking very very pretty. So, what do you want to say about camping? I am missing eye. Camping was a child actually. Tanta Salt Hollywood Hospital. Both are in partnership. And they called me to come here and speak about the importance of iodine deficiency. When we all have pregnant mothers, we think about nutrition. We know about folic acid, we know about vitamin D, we know about proteins. We should eat, we should do yoga, we should do yoga. But we know about iodine, we know about iodine. And iodine is a micronutrient, but it is very important, especially in the beginning. The further development of the baby. So, the development of the baby's brain, the skeleton, so many things happen. And it can actually be very bad. 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 So to include iodine in your diet, सबसे आसान तरीका वो है कि आप iodine salt इस्तेमाल करें, जो Tata Salt करते हैं, आपके लिए वो काम करते हैं। So all you need to see is on the packet के Tata Salt का iodine salt आप इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं या नहीं, and then you know that you're covered क्योंकि iodine body में produce नहीं होता है और retain नहीं होता है, तो आपको हर दिन खाना पड़ेगा, and it's very very important. Okay, so I'm being a mother, what worries the most when it comes to a diet? Okay, ना? बच्चे की diet क्या? बस हम सब चाहते हैं कि बच्चा अच्छे से बड़े, you know all those milestones के at this age they should walk, at this age they should turn over, at this age they should be running, jumping, laughing, talking, cognitive development, physical development. We are all constantly comparing our kids with other kids. And the main thing that they get is nutrition. If they have good nutrition, immunity भी बढ़ती है, they don't get जैसे हर बच्चे को आजकल जुकाम है, cough है, cold है, viral बढ़ रहा है. So if you have good nutrition, you can fight all those diseases as well. It's very difficult to feed a toddler. Ask me. Especially when they have their own opinions. आज पराठा खाना है, कल पराठा, सिर्फ पराठा खाना है और कुछ नहीं खाना है। But you have to make sure that they get their greens, that they get their fruits and vegetables, their fiber. So that's your responsibility as a parent. Okay, जैसे कि stage पे कहा कि during pregnancy बहुत जन अपने अपने advice देते हैं। So आपके time पे आपने किससे advice ली थी? Advice तो मैंने सब का मतलब I've heard everybody's advice, लेकिन ऐसा नहीं कि मैंने सबका advice follow किया। मैं बहुत ही diplomatic हूँ इस मामले में। और जैसे मेरी माँ ने मुझसे कहा, acting के बारे में भी, जब लोग मुझसे पूछते हैं कि आपने कि माँ ने आपको acting tips कौन से दिए हैं, my mother would tell me, there's one director, there's one captain of the ship, listen to the director. Similarly in pregnancy, it's important to listen to your gynecologist, your doctor, because they will know the ins and outs of you, particularly your specific pregnancy and what you need to do for your specific child. Best thing is to listen to everyone, nod your head. Thank you very much and do what your doctor says. Okay, Kunal sir, new movie is launched, which is the poster launched. How excited? Because you have also put it on social media. Of course, I'll do it. How did you feel? I felt very good. I went to the set, I was ready a lot of the scenes, I've seen a little bit of the footage. It's very, very funny and I'm very excited for him because of course he's really good in the comedy genre as well. But this looks really, really good. So I'm excited. October 11th, Lucas. Dora ma'am, what do you like to say? First of all, congratulations to your mom. So, what do you like to say? So, what do you like to say about the campaign, Missing Eye? Oh my god, you know, I was not aware that I 
hygiene was so important during pregnancy, and not only during pregnancy, yeah. you know, for, for us. But because my doctor kept saying, you know, what what about your calcium? What about your your iron? What about your minerals? And I'm like, I think everything is okay. And then he's like, you know, we've got to do blood tests. And he's like, what about um, iodine? And I'm like, don't you get that from like food and just like maybe a little bit of salt? Yeah. I and mean, he's like, no, it's not enough. It doesn't stay in your body. So you need to make sure that you have the right amount, which is probably he recommended me 250, 250 micrograms of iodine per day, which helps with the baby de de development, like so we just said. So I learned so much just now. I had no idea, but just because of this baby, I'm like super healthy. I feel really good. You know, you have to take so many vitamins and you have to eat well. And you have to have enough iodine in your body, especially for the baby and for breastfeeding, which I'm doing right now. So, and it's going really well, I guess, because the eye is in check. <laughs> okay, ma'am, you're doing your pregnancy. From whom you're taking the advice? Actually, because many people give the advice during your pregnancy, but whom from you're taking the advice? Like Soha just said, everyone has something to say. Yeah. Don't do this, don't need that. Oh, why are you going to the gym? And I'm like, Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to the gym. I'm doing yoga. I'm listening to my doctor. He was very, very great. And um, a lot, but through the nine months of being pregnant, he guided me with food, with, with my vitamins and everything. And I just listened to him and I listened to my body as well. I felt like eating well because I knew it was important for the baby, but also I had a cheat day every week. So you know, I wanted to eat my pizza and I was like, I'm going to do it. Not good food, but it satisfied my heart. <laughs> okay, but, uh, after being a mom, what have changes in your life? It's like, it's like, you know, if you go, it's like having a blind, falling in love with a blind date. Because you don't know the baby until the baby's out. And I didn't know if I was having a boy or a girl. So once I saw her, everything changed. I, I didn't think that love like that existed. And then of course now, it's tiring sometimes, you know. Sometimes you go through sleepless, sleepless nights. and But it's so gratifying. It's so, um, oh, it's so magical. She's beautiful and she changed my life. She's here with me today. So she's already okay. coming to work with me, and she's only two weeks. Uh, but it changed for the best. My my life changed for the better, for sure. Okay. Lastly, any message you'd like to give to all the uh, who are going going to be a mother? Because many people are look up to you, and many people are jealous also. <laughs> oh no! You just well. I I would say I don't want to give you too many advice because I didn't like all of them. But the important ones are try to sleep as much as you can now. <laughs> Try to rest, exercise, eat well, drink loads of water. I'm not a very big water drinker, so I have to make sure that I drink a lot of water. It's very important during pregnancy. Your baby needs it, and just try to think. I always try to think like, like if if I have like if I have junk food, I'm like, is this good for the baby? No. So okay, so next day I make sure I have a very nice meal, which is like karka khana, you know, like I'll have my Indian. My dal sabzi and like just nice veggies and stuff. So yeah, but you're doing fine. You're doing beautiful. It's 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 just beautiful being a mother. It's not easy, but you're doing a great job. I am sure. Just just the fact that you have, you're growing a human inside your belly is just like it's 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 a gift. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure talking. Thank you so thank much.
friends, thank you so much uh, for taking out time from your busy schedule and definitely gracing up this lovely uh, occasion. I'm sure that we all are looking forward uh, for this lovely evening. So, first of all, let me tell you that why we all have gathered over here. I'm sure that we all are aware about the great initiative which uh, Tata Soil has taken, that is the missing guy. So, if you're still wondering whether we have uh, uh, great information for each one of you, we have to make sure that you stay tuned. So, let me tell you that uh, Tata Soil definitely played a key role in the iodization movement in the country by launching the India's first branded iodized soil. She also has a chief dietitian with Mindurya Hospital Car. She's a clinical dietitian since 11 years and worked for the hospitals like Hira Mandani, Bhakti Vedanta. So thank you so much, ma'am, for being with us today. Well, uh, to add on, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Mr. Sagar Boke, Head of Marketing, Tata Chemicals. And finally, the moment is here, and I'm sure the whole wait is over. Well, it's time for us to welcome with us the very beautiful, none other than Soha Ali Khan. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for her. Among the many hats she wear, I'm sure that you people already know that she's a mother of a beautiful daughter in Naya. <laughs> Already so, so obsessed with the daughter and I'm sure that we already see it and we look forward. I'm sure the mothers who are here are looking forward to be one like you. Talking about Hayabi, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you that it plays a vital role and is a micronutrient which is definitely important for the growth of the child and for the pregnant woman. So Tata Salt is taking the initiative, the missing eye and create an awareness and definitely fight the iodine deficiency disorders. Well, I'm sure that we have a lot of questions in the house for all our lovely panelists we have with us. So to start off, when we talk about iodine, I'm sure the first thing which strikes in our mind is the nutrition value. So we have uh, the best person to answer our, uh, all our questions. Yes, Ms. Indrani Pawar. Well, she's a nutritionist here at Hinduja Hospital. Well, ma'am, I think I have, I have one question which sums it all up, that what exactly, how important exactly is the nutrition value when it comes to a mother who's expecting? And I'm sure that not just the well. pregnancy period, but post-pregnancy as well. What all things which matters when it comes to the nutri nutrition part? Good evening, one and all, and uh, welcome to Hinduja Healthcare. Uh, let me tell you that uh, it's a great initiative to have this in September. This September is the National Nutrition Month that we celebrate. And also, uh, it's the portion mama that is being decided by the government of India. So it's a, uh, I mean, blessing in disguise that we have started uh, with the IOD discussion today. Talking about pregnancy nutrition, a lot of things, uh, you know, the requirement of macronutrients increases during pregnancy by double points, all right? Talk about carbohydrates, yes, those are the basic requirement of energy. So we need to have good amount of complex carbohydrates in our diet. Not taking too much of simple carbs, but concentrating more on the nutrient cereals like our jawar, bajra, dajli, which are our own uh, Indian cereals. We can even talk about quinoa all as well. Uh, then coming to proteins, which are the building blocks of each and every cell. So those are the major nutrients that we need to incorporate in our diet. As Indians, you know, we are not totally uh, non-vegetarian per se, we are majorly vegetarian. So definitely taking care of our intake of first-class proteins. Uh, first-class proteins is something which are a complete mixture of all the amino acids that are required. And that is something that we get from milk and milk products. So basically anything that comes from the animals. So for vegetarians, milk and milk products are a good source of protein. Uh, for non-vegetarians, of course, they can have their garbage intake. And definitely not forgetting our pulses and uh, legumes as well. Coming to facts. Now, when, when it happens is that you know, when a lady is pregnant in the house, okay, everybody is talking about geek out, geek out, have the looks of geek out, which is not totally true. Okay, You need to concentrate on the fat intake, but definitely not in the saturated fats. You need to incorporate a good amount of essential fatty acids, say omega 3, omega 6 fatty acids, all right, in your diet on a regular basis. Talking about micronutrients, okay. uh, before that, I will also talk about fiber. Now, the constipation is a very common, common issue in all the pregnant ladies. Well, 
avoid a lot of salt intake. And they don't understand that they are actually going or you know, putting themselves in an iodine deficiency as well as sodium definitely is. So, you know, they lose weight, but they don't understand that they are actually, you know, putting themselves, themselves in a micronutrient deficiency. So your preconceptual diet is also very important, what you take in, what you avoid. So, you know, not avoiding your salt in any uh, cost. In pregnancy, you also have a sudden lot of, you know, um, complications. Say you have uh, pregnancy, pregnancy induced hypertension. Where definitely the doctors and the dietitians will ask you to avoid your salt intake. Now in this scenario, what used to be done is that, you know, keep your food salt intake normal, alright, around say one teaspoon per day. But definitely cut down on your intake of processed foods. So processed foods per se don't use any iodized salt, they use a non-iodized salt. So you feel okay, we are taking a lot of chips, we are taking a lot of fursa and chuda, chakri. So I'm getting my salt in the day, but no, that's the non-iodized salt. Use the normal iodized salt in your cooking. Uh, apart from that, definitely during breastfeeding also, you know, iodine intake is important because it is the only source of iodine that the fetus is yes, getting from the mother's milk. So you know, take care of your salt intake even during breastfeeding. So like my mother said, 
trust your gynecologist. If you're going to listen to one person, trust a doctor, someone who knows what's happening in the world. And when it comes to your diet as well, you know, follow what they say. And we all know a lot about folic acid, we know about vitamin D, we know what we're deficient in. But when I became pregnant, I learned about the eye. And I, I actually being so aware of so many things, I didn't know about iodine deficiency, and I didn't know how critical it is. Something so small can have such a massive impact. Uh, so, uh, and also something that is so easily um, corrected. You know, there's so many, there's so much malnutrition out there. But something in a cheap, effective way, you can actually address uh, across the population. Having said that, there's still so many mothers and children out there who are unprotected, who do not have iodized salt, because iodized salt is the easiest way to address this kind of malnutrition. Which is why I think it's wonderful that Tata Salt and Buja Hospital are doing this today. For the few of us out there who still don't know about iodine deficiency, you can already take that step, include iodized salt in your diet every day, because as we've been told, the body doesn't produce it, the body doesn't retain it but it's so easily available. Look at the package salt that you buy, see that it has iodine in it, because a lot of it doesn't. Thank you. So uh, just, you know, make sure that you are getting salt. Uh, and uh, in terms of the journey, I can talk to you endlessly. I mean, you know, we don't have the time to speak about. Uh, I have so much respect for parents, but certainly for mothers, uh, for the whole experience of being pregnant, for becoming a parent. I'm learning so much myself. I wrote it down to on the 29. Um, and uh, does it get easier? <laughs> I can ask all of you. Like, everyone is going, ah. Uh, Okay. <laughs> yeah, actually, Daisy would be answering here. So I'm like trying to figure that out. So nobody tells you uh, about you know what it is like to be pregnant, and the responsibility continues. Why uh, before you become pregnant? Why you're pregnant? When you're a lactating mother, and when you're trying to feed your child those healthy meals, you know if you include I I saw in those meals for those first till they're six years old, at least. You know they need that. That's when they are really building their bodies and their brains. The first 16 weeks of gestation are also so critical. So those, that, those are the times when you need to make sure that your diet is rich with all the micronutrients, with all the fats and proteins and carbohydrates that you can get. And you know, take it very seriously because really what you're doing as pregnant women and as parents, uh, I think it's the most critical job to produce and put forth an individual in the world and you must do that in the best way that you can. Thank you so much sir, for sharing up your experience and I'm sure that uh, all the ladies who have heard you right now, they're going to follow some of those things, definitely. What I'm talking about lactating mother, well let me tell you ladies and gentlemen that yes we have uh, the very beautiful Bruna Abdullah with us. So I would definitely request her to please join. She's a new mother in the house, so that's the reason. So I'm sure that let's welcome her with a big round of applause. Let me tell you that uh, she's a new mother. It, I think we just two weeks back uh, she delivered. So I'm sure that we all are looking forward to hear from her. She'll be there in a minute. Uh, but uh, before we actually have her, I, I think I have an add-in question uh, to you, Soha. So you already um, you know mentioned your uh, experience and what all. Uh, I mean what all things we should actually follow. But on the personal front, one thing which you missed out during pregnancy and you would like people to go ahead with. Like later on you realize, okay, so this is the thing which I missed out during the pregnancy. I think we should have taken more care of it. Anything? I should have slept more. Okay, <laughs> because I'm never going to sleep again. Especially because my nanny is gone to Nepal for a month. So literally, I think, you know, you, you uh, of course pregnancy comes with, um, you know, you feel like there's a lot of, things that you're doing, but trust me, the real work starts once that child is out of you. Uh, and anxiety is a uh, is constant part of your life. I don't think I'll sleep as well as I did uh, before I had a baby. You know, you just can't. You're always like, I mean, if she's not crying, I'm imagining she's crying. Uh, you know, so I think that, you know, that kind of blissful sleep, enjoy it while it lasts. Thank you. And to take it forward, I think I have a question for Mr. Sagar. I think we all have this question that why Tata Sol is taking the uh, missing guy initiative? <laughs> so, uh, as I told you, uh, 
uh, so the genesis of Adder's salt is uh, you want to do something which is meaningful for the nation, and uh, uh, the genesis of Adder's salt has been uh, a decision. Uh, So the sizes are, uh, are not uniform, so the dosing of iodine varies. So 
between uh, say two uh -huh. different banks, I would the amount could be very different. Whereas in Tata's call, because of the vacuum evaporation process, we are very evaporating and then it's already fine. And every single grain is of the same size, and hence the iodine that you get, other than the Tata's soil being iodized soil, it also can be right and the exact amount of uh, iodine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so the condition is it is definitely Tata soil, you can do that. Uh, <laughs> one question, uh, yes, I think you told in a steam that that you will see a lot of corrosion happening. It's better to use those clay for Congratulations. Thank you so much. Uh, I think that one of the things that pregnant women are faced with is a lot of advice. So, um, if you really want to know from me, you're doing a great job. Firstly, I think we always like, we want reassurance to know that you're doing your best. You can always do what is best for your child. Um, when are you due? When are you due? In December. So, I think that, uh, like Bruna said, I think, you know, nutrition, exercise, uh, whether it, I also did yoga. I did yoga after the day that I went to the hospital, uh, but with someone who knew what they were doing. Um, I make sure that even though everyone will tell you to eat how, go how, you follow the advice of uh, your gynecologist or doctor. Don't listen to too many people. You know, and if you can, just listen because you can't say no, thank you. Uh, just say yes, thank you, and let it go into one year and out the other year, and listen to your doctor. Even if it's your mother, if your mother or anyone, listen to your doctor. You know, but instead of because I used to resist people and say, "Nahi, mujhe aise nahi karna, mujhe aise karna, mujhe aise bataya, mujhe aise karna nahi." It's better not to fight with people. Yeah, exactly. So just conserve your energy and honestly surround yourself with as much positivity as you can. Uh, you know, listen to music. Let's say that your your child is listening to things. They can hear you if you're in an argument. You know, so try and be as positive as you can, and you'll do a great job. So I think the best uh, advice is already given by them that you have to listen to 